We found out again that the constant, what do you call it, rotating door (laughs) of filmmaking talent that comes and goes from Star Wars Project continued on some more. Yep. As Damon Lindelof, the guy behind, uh, you know, shows like Lost, Watchmen, uh, The Leftovers, he's got many Emmys setting up on his shelves. His projects have won a lot of different Emmys and awards and all that kind of stuff. He was supposed to be writing a particular Star Wars project, the next one that's apparently coming up, and all of a sudden he was gone. All of a sudden he was gone. Well, they seem to have gone out and got a pretty damn good replacement because according to reports in Deadline, it's now official, Stephen Knight, the guy behind Peaky Blinders, which... I admit, I'm not the biggest fan of Peaky Blinders myself, but there's no denying that is a show that has a rabid fan base. The people who like Peaky Blinders love that show with Killian Murphy. They love, love, love that show. He's also the writer of Eastern Promises, which I love that movie. Anyway, they went out and got Stephen Knight, who is not to be confused with Stephen S. D. Knight, Mm Mm-hmm who is the showrunner of Spartacus and showrunner of Daredevil season one. And all. that's a, that's a different guy altogether, but Stephen Knight, not to be confused with Stephen S tonight has been brought on to write the new star Wars film. Now, not a lot is known about this project right now. We know who the director is, which you've talked about before. Uh, and this guy's resume is great. This is in deadline. Knight is, a writer, director, and producer best known for creating, writing, and executive producing the acclaimed BBC's crime drama Peaky Blinders, led by Killian Murphy, which ran for six seasons. He's also written and directed films like Tom Hardy's star Locke, which is awesome. That's a great movie. If you haven't seen Locke, you should. Also, scripting such notable titles as Spencer, which I thought was really good, The Girl in the Spider's Web, which is also really good, Pawn Sacrifice, which is all really good, uh, The Hundred Foot Journey, which is a fantastic movie, and Eastern Promises, which is a fantastic movie, among others. Uh, other notable series created by Knight include Apple TV's C. I got to admit, I'm not a big fan of Jason. That's the Jason Momoa show. I'm not a big fan of C, personally. And FX's Taboo, which I did not watch. Uh, news of involvement with the new Star Wars pick was first reported by Variety. So they've gone out and gotten themselves a really good writer to get involved. Th- that's great. Now, what is the date of Star Wars Celebration? I think it's like April 7th, 8th, 9th. I could double check. It's April 7th, right? So we are, what are we, like uh, two weeks away? Mm-hmm. Roughly two weeks away from Star Wars Celebration? I give it a 50-50 chance that he leaves the project by then. Well, Look, I mean, there are creative differences you have to take into account. I mean, I think creative, they, he walked in, had their first meeting, he's like, yeah, no, I can't do this. I, I think there is legitimately a fit. Come on, let's be, show of hands, everybody on the internet. I can see you all. <laughs> Raise your hands <laughs> if you really don't believe there's any chance that between now and Star Wars Celebration, that we may not hear that he has left the project. Please well, don't be raising your Here's hands. the problem, though, <laughs> is that they declined his his idea at the meeting. He walked out, and then they released, he's going to be the new showrunner of this. It's like, no, no. I'm not, seriously. At this point, with Lucasfilm's track record, the last couple of years of keeping talent, I, I'm not kidding. I will not be stunned if we end the show and then Ray goes, Hey, did you see what they just reported the, on uh, the rap? The Rock Stephen just Knight insisted, has departed the Star Wars. The Rock part. just insisted that he leave uh, Star Wars. The Rock is going to change the hierarchy of the Star Wars universe. Um, <laughs> that Stephen Knight is is now gone. Uh, come on, seriously, it, would anybody be surprised mm-hmm. at this point? I mean, I wouldn't be shocked. I would be a little like, okay, that's weird, but I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, I, I mean, it would be very odd. Yeah, and if it were any other studio completely shocked that they just announced this person and then like a couple days later they're gone but we the reality is the status of lucasfilm at the moment is none of us would fall out of our chairs in shock if we found out an hour and a half from now (laughs) that stephen (laughs) knight is no longer attached to star now look what will probably happen is they will shuffle him out on stage at Star Wars Celebration going, yay, a new Star Wars movie coming, yay. And he's going to kind of look awkward. It's like, I haven't actually signed anything yet. But but they're going to bring him out on stage. They're going to hype up this new movie. 
And listen, I'll take as a Star Wars fan, I'll take anything at this point. Like I, I, what, what has it been? Four years since we've had a Star Wars movie. Four years. We're gonna go into five and then six. It's probably gonna be minimum six years before in between Star Wars films. At this point, I will take anything that they'll I, give I, us. I, I mean, who's left on the checklist? We need to uh, announce Ben Affleck and then <laughs> the Russo brothers, and then that's the Russo. That's right, the Russo brothers. Come in. I mean, I. So yeah, I do believe he'll make it there. I do believe they'll make the announcement. I do believe they'll have him, the director, Kathleen Kennedy, all of them on stage, all that kind of stuff. And and maybe this will be the Kathleen Kennedy's final hurrah of a big Star Wars announcement before she rides off into her next projects. I, I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't think any of us would be stunned if we find out that he leaves. I mean, you know what they need to do is have a panel at Star Wars Celebration with Gilroy and Favreau. And a question, like a question and answer of like, how do you stick around this place? <laughs> yeah, how how do you? And, and honestly, listen, that would be. I'm not going to go to Star Wars celebrate. I'm never going to go to another Disney run convention again. But it, the going. one thing I would have been tempted for, if they had said there would be a, you know, uh, stewards of the galaxy panel with Tony Gilroy and John Favreau. I, 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 even I would have to say I'd be tempted to go see that because those are the two guys that are really kind of shepherding anything yeah. that's half decent. Uh, Tony Gil Gilroy, to me especially, because what he did with Andor is remarkably good. But look, with all of my pessimism, and I, I granted, I've developed, unfortunately, a, a bunch of pessimism when it comes to Lucasfilm and stuff like that. I, I admit it, I have. I don't like it. I, I feel bad about it. But deep down, I am still really cheering, and I am hoping this turns out great. Because, listen, if you lose whatever, whatever, hey, bottom line is they brought in a really talented writer. And they brought in a writer that's more in the vein of Tony Gilroy, right? When you look at, when you look at I almost said tonight, mm -hmm. uh, when you look at Knight's credits, you're talking about a guy whose, his content would be more like Tony Gilroy's and or yeah. than anything else, right? Whereas maybe with uh, Damon Lindelof, it'd be a little bit more like Favreau's Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, stuff like that. Whereas this guy would be more in the vein of, of a Tony Gilroy and Andor. And listen, while I'm sitting here saying I'm not going to be shocked if this guy just suddenly leaves, I'm actually kind of hopeful that maybe this could be something that's really good. I want to see him cameo in his own film as an Imperial officer. He has that look. He does have an Imperial officer look, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Why is your uniform disheveled? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see that. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Amongst the whole rotating door of talent coming and going from Lucasfilm, they did go out. Listen, give credit where it's due. They went and got a really gifted dude in Stephen uh, I keep wanting to say tonight, <laughs> Stephen Knight. They went and got a super talented dude in Stephen Knight. And him writing a Star Wars project could be incredibly appealing if he sticks around. What do you guys think about that? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket Money rocketmoney.com slash campia that's rocketmoney.com slash campia rocketmoney.com slash campia